Fred here. Welcome back to the Gear Obsession channel. The... Here we go. Another special coffee making video. And this was because Oil the Gun sent me a package. Now he, he made a video, and I'll provide the link below, of him showing how he roasted coffee beans. And he wanted to send me some. And let me tell you, <laughs> I went to the post office, had these in the truck, then I had to go help move somebody. And the, this made the cab of my truck, uh, truck smell so freaking good. It, it's, oh, it, it's incredible. <laughs> and that's through all this packaging. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up and see what we got. I don't want to rip anything here, so I'm trying to be careful. Alright, I think I have successfully opened this without killing anything. did come from, uh, again, Oil the Gun, and here's what he sent, and, oh my god, this is just, it's incredible, let's just smell that, oh, can you smell that? So, I'm going to have to go ahead and grind this, I'm going to get my grinder. something to spoon these beans out. Probably doing a little bit too much, but that's alright. Now, I believe it was oil the gun, you know, or it might have been uh, somebody else that I should use a burr grinder instead of the kind that chops, that you get a more consistent ground and everything, and I agree. Um, but you know, I spent a lot of money on this guy, and um, when this one blows up one day, I will replace it with a burr grind. I saw a nice Cuisinart, but it went around about 80 bucks. And believe it or not, I'm not rich, even though I have this fancy coffee maker, as uh, looking for Revarble says. <laughs> I'm going to do this to about a medium ground because I'm going to make this coffee in this coffee pot and I'll show you how to do that. These K-Cup coffee makers um, use these uh, rather expensive boxes of individual K-Cup. Guys, it sort of look like this. But you can cheat. You can get one of these, cost about 15 bucks. So if you have a K-Cup machine, you could buy one of these. This is also made by Keurig. So the company is officially allowing you to cheat. They give you this gizmo that allows you to make your own personal K cup. And what it has is a, a cup with a filter that you put in here and you close it up and you're going to put it where the K cup normally goes. But you have to take this out first. So you remove this piece and then you can put this in here. See that? So, I've already unplugged that. I'm going to go ahead and fill this with some of these coffee ground. Um, 
Oil the Gun said that one ounce makes about three cups. Once you fill, fill that up, put the cover on and lock it. Pop it in here, and then you close it. Now, one thing, to, one other thing to remember, and I wish I had said this on my original coffee making, uh, French press coffee making video, was that when you, whatever water you use, you have to start out with good water because if you start with nasty ass water, it's gonna taste like ass. So, you know, my my water's not too great here where I live, so I have a filter here. And it's a pure filter, which does a really good job of getting all the nasty taste and impurities and chlorine and all the other crap that they put in my water out. And I use that after it goes through that filter to fill up this coffee maker. And the monkey hits the brewing button. <laughs> it's not the quietest uh, machine in the world either. I noticed that the newer ones, um, that this was, uh, I got this when they first came out, so we've had it for probably almost two years, but the newer ones I noticed are uh, quieter. Mm, it smells good. It smells real good. Oh man, that smells delicious. Oh. I'm telling you, oil and gun, you make a mean coffee bean. And this is, uh, I believe it's a blend that he has made. It's a Sumatra and a Tabu Zumu Zamu Zamu Tabu Zamu But uh, incredible incredible mm. So there it is again um, I would like to thank for the third time but I can't show my appreciation enough to oil the gun, I'm gonna provide the link to his video where he roasted his own coffee beans. Absolutely incredible. And I hope that if you uh, have a K-cup type machine like this Keurig machine here, that you invest 15 bucks in one of these, and then you could use whatever coffee you want. And it's a lot cheaper than the individual K-cup. So on the occasion that you want to save a couple of bucks or you want to um, try a coffee that's not provided in a K cup out of the box, you're good to go. Thank you very much, friends, subscribers, and viewers, and please come back again.